today I am going to be going to Barnes & Noble. I figured it's about time I did a video where I am shopping at Barnes & Noble because I go there like basically once a month, sometimes more than once a month. But I wanted to take you guys along with me. I did have a certain series in mind that I wanted to buy, but I did my research this morning and it turns out that the last book does not come out until December now. I could have sworn, so it's the Plated Prisoner series, which is like the Guild, Gleam, Glow, like all those. It's about King Midas, I think, where everything he touches turns to gold, something like that. It's based off of that story, but um, I really wanted to read that series, but I saw that it was going to have multiple books in the series, and I heard that the fifth book was going to be the final book, so I just waited. I haven't read any of the books yet, but it's been on my list to read for a long time now, and I've been waiting to buy them until I could buy all of them at once just to make it easier on myself, and I could have sworn it was supposed to come out like June 8th. I looked it up. Apparently, no, comes out December 23rd, so... I have a long time to wait, but I'm still like, I'm already, I'm still in that headspace of going to Barnes and Noble and purchasing a book, maybe more than one book. I figured I would just make a video of it. Who cares? Who cares if the books that I wanted to buy are not in store yet? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to get upset. I'm going to make a day of it and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So I'll see you at Barnes and Noble. <music> I just came out of Barnes and Noble and I got a haul guys. I'm going to show you just now because I'm too excited to talk about them. So uh, to wait until I get home. So I have to talk about them now. Um, the first book that I picked up was Loathe at First Sight by Suzanne Park. I have had my eye on this for a while. I always see it when I go into like the romance section at Barnes and Noble, but I've just never pulled the trigger on actually buying it. So this time I decided yes. It is time but it looks really cute so it's about this girl named melody who is a video game producer which i thought was super interesting hold on there's someone parking in front of me pretend i don't exist don't look at me <laughs> i'm so awkward we're in the clear anyways <laughs> i'm so awkward i can't film in public i just feel just so incredibly awkward um but anyways so she's a video game producer which i thought was really interesting it kind of gives me like free guy vibes like with ryan reynolds except it's it's from like the producer the video game creator side of things the entire time but anyways she it's looks like it's gonna be like enemies to lovers like her intern or something is an intern yeah so her intern named nolan is the CEO, I guess, his uncle. So there's like a lot of nepotism going on. So she like immediately hates him for that reason alone because she thinks that his uncle got the job for him, which I guess technically he did. But I'm sure he's gonna come through for her at some point during this book and prove his worth, you know? The second thing that I grabbed, or I guess second and third, because I grabbed them at the same time, I got the King of Battle and Blood, and I also got the Queen of Myth and Monsters by Scarlet St. Clair. And I have had, 
I've been looking at these books. I feel like every time I go to Target, I see these two books sitting on like one of the end caps. So I feel like I just needed to get them. After just reading The Serpent and Wings of Night, which is about vampires, I know that this one is also about vampires. So I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this one because it's just going to bring back all those good memories from Serpent and Wings of Night. So I'm excited about these and it's a duology. So it's a completed series or duology. So it's just these two books. And that's like, that's how I like to buy books. I don't like to buy one when I know it's going to be a series because I hate cliffhangers. I hate waiting. I just want to be able to binge the entire story at once. That's why I've held off on buying a lot of books. And I've also heard it has a lot of spice in it. So, hmm. And the third, or I guess fourth, the fourth book that I grabbed, I grabbed The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I'm so excited about this book. I haven't, like, I've I feel like I've kind of heard some stuff about it, but at the same time, I haven't. I always, I feel like I'm, I'm going to say this, repeat myself a lot in this video, but I always see this book and I've always held it, but then I always chicken out at the end. I always put it back before I get to the checkout because I feel like I have to be in the mood for this very fantasy, like Caraval or whatever. It's very poetic, the writing style. And very magical and I feel like I have to be in the mood for that kind of book but every single time I go to Barnes and Noble I always ask myself is today gonna be the day and today I decided yes it is the day I'm getting the night circus I don't know if I'll read it this summer maybe I don't know I feel like this would be a really good winter book but yeah I'm really excited about this one I've had my eye on it for a very very long time and finally got it and the fifth and last book that I picked up, once again, another book that I always look at when I go to Barnes & Noble but never pull the trigger on, was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a series, I believe. Um, there's like three or four other books, I think. There might have just been a new release of this series. But um, it's a YA fiction book. And it's got like kind of Nancy Drew vibes. It's like at this academy and I just feel like it's going to be really interesting. There's like riddles and it might be similar to like inheritance games or something like that, but it's like a murder mystery and they're trying to figure out like obviously what happened. So I'm excited about this one. I only got the first one because I wanted to see how I liked the author. I've never read any of her books, so I want to see how I like this first one and then I might go back and get the rest of the series depending on how I feel about this one. So. Uh, let me get the books to show you. I love holding just a large stack of books. It just brings me such joy. Anyways, so this is the haul. I'm so excited about all of these books. I feel like they're gonna be so good. I don't know when I'll get to all of them, but yeah, I've been kind of like sad lately, so I needed to a little pick me up. So that's usually when I go to Barnes and Noble is when I'm sad or just bored. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I tried to get as many clips as I could inside of Barnes & Noble, but, you know, it's awkward filming in public, so hopefully I got enough. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully it gave you some ideas or just some books you have or have not heard of before, and maybe you'll go to Barnes & Noble and search for these bad boys yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!